If you want to start creating video content for YouTube, what software can you use for this? Welcome in my channel, I'm Murad, and I'm going to guide you through this tutorial to create your video content using OBS software. Before diving into the how-to, let's briefly explore what OBS is. OBS, short for Open Broadcaster Software, is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. It's available for Windows, Mac operating system, and Linux making it accessible to a wide range of users. OBS provides a user-friendly interface with a powerful feature for customization and control over your streams and recording. If you don't have OBS installed in your desktop, visit OBS Project's website and uh, download the latest version compatible with your operating system. For my case, uh, I will uh, download the Windows version. So once the download uh, completed, launch the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. So finish. So after launching the OBS for the first time, you will get this window of auto configuration wizard asking you to specify for what you want to use the program to allow OBS software determine the best settings for your usage based on your computer specs and the internet speed. So in my case, I will choose the second option because I will use OBS just for recording. Next, uh, for the base canvas resolution, I will keep it uh, as it is, but for the frames per second, I will reduce it to 30 to not consume my computer resources. Next, so these are the best settings recommended by OBS for my uh, recording usage. I will apply these uh, settings. Now, let's take a look on the main component. Uh, of OBS interface. So we have first we have scenes, uh, this dock to add and arrange uh, your scenes. Uh, we have uh, sources to add uh, sources for your uh, scenes. Uh, you have audio mixer to control and adjust audio level from different uh, sources. You have scene transitions to uh, to set transitions between uh, between scenes, you have controls menu to start and stop your streaming or recording, to uh, switch between regular and studio mode, to adjust the OBS settings, and uh, and more. You have this uh, this black rectangle to preview your uh, work before going streaming or uh, recording. So. Uh, these are the, the main components of OBS software. Now let's see how to set the process to start recording with OBS. The principle of recording with OBS is very simple. Add scene, add source that you want to include in your recording to your scene and start stop recording. To add your scene, you can do it by a right click on this uh, scenes area and select add. Or you can uh, click directly on this uh, plus uh, button and add your scene. Then you have to add the source uh, that you want to include in your recording. Uh, similarly, you can do it by right click on uh, sources uh, area and select add. Or you can do it through this uh, plus uh, button and add your uh, your source. In my case, I will add a display capture to record my screen. So once your scene is set up with uh, the desired uh, source, you can click on start recording to begin. Now you are recording your screen. When you're done uh, recording, click on stop recording. Go to file 
and Remax, your recording to convert it uh, to MP4 to be uh, compatible with the various uh, multimedia uh, platforms. So to streamline and automate this uh, process of uh, of conversion, go to Settings, Advanced, and check automatically Remax to MP4 to allow OBS convert your uh, MKV file uh, to MP4 directly after finishing recording. Okay, now uh, let's dig a little deeply and see how to set up the recording process for a tutorial. Let's say uh, you want to create a tutorial on how to download and install OBS and let's set up the recording process for that. To start recording my tutorial, I will need for two categories of scenes. I will need for production scenes and nested scenes. For that, I will create two empty scenes and I will use them just as a title to separate my prod and my nested scenes. At first, I will just rename uh, the default scene to be production scenes. I'm going to zoom in on this title a little while I'm typing. Now I will create another empty scene for a nested scene title. Then under each category title, I will add the related scenes. So for production scenes, uh, I'm going to add introduction and welcome scene to introduce my subjects and say welcome to my audience. Also, I will add the scene for screen recording and I will name it uh, OBS website window. And last scene will be to conclude and say thanks to my audience and I'm naming it and and thanks. Let's create now uh, the nested uh, scenes. Uh, the first one will be for my laptop camera and as a name I will choose desktop cam native. The second one in nested scenes will be for uh, native screen recording and I'm calling it OBS website window capture. The phone camera native scene will be my last nested scene and it is for my phone webcam. Now let's add uh, the sources that we want to include in our recording to our scenes. At first we need to add sources to our nested scenes. So select desktop cam native in nested scenes and use the dock of sources to add your scene. For this scene I'm going to choose my laptop camera. And do not forget to adjust the dimensions of your video to cover all the previewing screen. Let's now set the source to record for OBS website window capture. Uh, of course, I will select uh, window capture uh, from uh, the list of sources. And I will choose the window of uh, OBS projects website because I want to record and uh, comment the contents of this window. For the phone camera native scene, I will select uh, the video capture device from the list of sources and I will choose Arion webcam to connect my phone camera uh, and use it as a, as a webcam. Once the sources of our nested scenes are configured, Let's now add the sources of our production scenes. So select introduction and welcome. And from the list of sources, select scene as source, then choose uh, the desktop cam native. Similarly, for OBS website window scene, I will add uh, the nested scene, OBS website uh, windows capture as source. Also, I'm going to add phone camera native as source for this scene to use it as cameo camera while I'm recording my screen. Finally, I will add the nested scene phone camera native as source for my production scene and end tanks. With this last step, the recording process of my tutorial is configured and I can select the scene of introduction and welcome and click on start recording to begin recording my tutorial. Introduce my tutorial subjects and welcome my audience then I can switch to OBS website window and explain to my audience how to download and install OBS software. I can jump to 
and and thanks Sin to thanks my audience for their watching time. Thanks for watching and see you in other videos.